Biggest questions for week 15, next on Fantasy Football Today in 5. Welcome to FFT in 5. I'm Chris Towers. I'm here with Heath Cummings. Heath and I recorded an episode of the FFT Dynasty Pod this morning. Make sure you go check that out. We talked a lot about quarterbacks, both for the rest of this season and looking ahead to 2024 and beyond. So make sure you check that out. Make sure you subscribe and, and leave a nice rating for the FFT Dynasty Pod. We're here to talk about the biggest questions for week 15. And unfortunately, hey, look, it's another season-ending injury to a superstar quarterback. This time, Justin Herbert has had surgery on his fractured right index finger. He will be out for the season. Easton Stick will start the final four games for the Chargers, assuming he doesn't get hurt, which... The way this season's going, who knows? What are your expectations for the Chargers offense? They did activate Josh Palmer from IR. He was a big part of their offense earlier in the season, but obviously big downgrade with Justin Herbert going on IR. Yeah, I, it's funny because on a on a per pass attempt basis, Herbert's never really produced a, a, a well above average number. He's always been right around seven. So it is a big de- decrease in terms mm-hmm. of quarterback play but it didn't bury Keenan Allen for me the way that I thought that it might I still Mm -hmm. pretty much got him as a must start wide receiver Um, the guy who actually continues to fall in the rankings just fight a good game against the easiest matchup in fantasy football (laughs) is Austin Eckler I I -hmm. struggle a little bit with him just because I still think he needs a touchdown to be great and I don't know how many points they're going to score this game this week they're now three point underdogs to the Raiders in a game that has an over under of 34 like this is not your typical chargers game script so maybe keenan allen is in that garrett wilson Devontae adams range where he's just still so good and sees so many targets that most weeks you forget the fact that he doesn't even have a good quarterback yeah i mean i i don't know what range that is for you but for me that's fringe wide receiver one yeah for me i've had garrett wilson right around 10 to 12 for most of the season i've got jamar chase in that same range, Devontae, I've actually got Wilson, DJ Moore, Jamar Chase, Devontae Adams, and Keenan Allen, basically right in that order. And so I think you're probably just going to have to start him. And we, we've unfortunately seen a lot of situations this season where these high-end wide receivers, it lowers the floor and it probably lowers the ceiling. But Keenan Allen's probably still going to have a 28 to 30% target share yep. if the Chargers are going to have any hope of you know having a functional offense. So I, I think you're probably just leaving him in your lineup. It's unfortunate that he is likely to take a step back as the playoffs are starting, given how good of a season he's having. Let's move on to the Vikings, where just before we started recording, Joshua Dobbs was announced uh, as the backup quarterback with Nick Mullins expected to start for or being named the starter for the Vikings. What are your expectations here? I think that the passing offense for the Vikings is probably a little bit better with Nick Mullins than it is with Joshua Dobbs. They hinted at wanting to do this coming Mm -hmm. off the bye. Dobbs has the sixth highest off target rate as a thrower this season. He's done a lot of really fun things. He was great for fantasy because he ran so much, Mm -hmm. but he wasn't particularly good passer and he throws the ball 35% of the times to his tight ends. So specifically for the wide receivers, I believe this is an upgrade, maybe a slight downgrade for TJ Hawkins. And I think the offense is probably very similar. I've still got Hawkins as, as my number three tight end behind Travis Kelsey and Trey McBride. Where do you have him? I, you know, I think he's six this week, but he's, he's, a, he's, a, you're not considering benching him. Trey McBride is the one, I guess you might have mm-hmm. McBride and Hawkinson. I'd probably start McBride, but I also understand if you're so scared of that matchup against the 49ers that you don't want to. And where would you rank Justin Jefferson, assuming he plays this week? I'm going to go right back to him as a borderline top 12 wide receiver. Mm-hmm. He played 13 snaps this week and saw three targets. Yeah. So I, th- I just think it's like a Keenan Allen situation, except Jefferson is probably better and has a better quarterback. I mean, how annoying is it that like Jamar Chase, Justin Jefferson, Keenan Allen, Garrett Wilson, Devontae, like that might be, I don't know if those are the five best wide receivers yeah. in football. That's probably not the five best, but like, That's not a bad top five list, and all are in that wide receiver one, wide receiver two range because they're playing with backup quarterbacks. It's been kind of a mess of a season, and eh, things look a little messy for Miami right now. They're starting center, tore his ACL on Monday night. They'll be down him. Uh, I think they were down three starting offensive linemen on Monday night. Tyreek Hill's day-to-day with an ankle injury, and now Tua Tungabello has to face the Jets. It is at home. He had a not great fantasy game, but a 
pretty good real life game against the Jets the last time they played. What are your expectations for Tua? Right now, I'm expecting Tyreek Hill to play, but not be 100% himself. Mm-hmm. And with that expectation, I have Tua at QB 14. If Tyreek is just, we get to Friday and he's a full go and there's no question mm-hmm. about it, then Tua probably sneaks back into my top 12. If Tyreek is ruled out, then Tua is probably like around QB 18. So, so I do think it's still a bad matchup. Kyler Murray or Tua Tungavello? I don't love Kyler this week against San Francisco, so I'd still go with Tua And right now. If Tyreek's out, then i go Murray. I know we both have Matthew Stafford ahead of Tua. We talked about yep. that this morning. What about Jared Goff? I currently have Jared Goff one spot ahead of Tua. What about Jordan Love? Uh, Love is like seven spots. He's a top, top eight quarterback for me this week. Fantastic okay. matchup against Tampa Bay. Uh, what about Russell Wilson? Slight lean towards Russell Wilson for now, but that's one of the guys that Tua could pass if Tyreek is okay. All right, that's going to do it for FFT and 5. We'll be back tomorrow to talk more start-sit questions for Week 15. We'll see you then.